And this is the number of seeds out of that one little small sunflower seed head. Now I still got bits and pieces in there to clean up, which I'm doing now. Okay, so one of the things about sunflowers is they always produce seeds. And you just have to wait until they get to a certain condition. So after they bloom, they go through this thing, they start to look horrible, like this one. This used to be a pretty yellow sunflower, and now it's this. So what you do to harvest the seeds, you walk up and you look at the sunflower, and you kind of like the part where the bees are normally in there like getting the pollen from, you roll that around with your fingers, and when it comes off really easy, like this is doing, then this is ready to have the seeds harvested. What I usually do, I usually use scissors, <laughs> but I don't have them with me. So I'm just going to do this one-handed, hopefully, with my fingernail, which I don't have any fingernails. Be right back. Basically, you remove the head. And then I'll show you the next step. I usually find it easier to put it on a plate, but basically you're going to just strip this down to expose the seeds that are under it. Rub all this stuff off the top of it. This maybe could have waited another couple of days, but for the sake of this video, it's going to work out fine. Basically, what you're going to find is as you peel this back, there's going to be seeds right there. You can kind of see them. And you break those out. Just like that. There's your seeds for next year. Now once you've got these collected, I usually put them in like a paper sack. You can put them in a Ziploc and then you want to do a, you want to stratify them by putting them in the refrigerator. Because they have to go through like a winter spell before they will bloom again next year. So you want to store them in like freezer, refrigerator, something like that. And one sunflower head will have hundreds of seeds in them. Even these smaller sunflowers, they got a lot of seeds. That's basically what I do. Then that way you just keep it going. Every year you've got your sunflower seeds for next year. Now the bigger ones, the very large headed ones that are like a foot in diameter, like the Russians or the gray stripes, those are edible. But these smaller ones aren't really edible. I just collect them to replant next year. So hopefully you find this enjoyable. And uh, that's how you harvest sunflower seeds so that you don't have to buy them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you're into this kind of content. I'm all the time posting videos of how I live out on my homestead. As always, thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.